Hello, I'm Saeed, I'm from UK and um, I'm here studying in Bulgaria and Sofia. My name is Gloria, I'm from Tanzania. I study in the Medical University of Sofia and it's my first year. Hey, my name is Abdul Hanan Mahmood and uh, I'm from South Carolina in the United States and I'm a current student at Sofia Medical University. Hi, I'm Alia Hussain Bhatt. I'm coming from Bahrain. Basically, I'm from Kashmir and I'm doing dentistry first year at Sofia Medical University. I joined Interhex quite early, early on in the December. So I didn't start studying till summer. I started studying for the entrance exams two months ago, uh, continuously, because I thought, let's focus. When I start studying, let's focus properly, because studying and then giving a gap is no use. So I started studying in the summer, enjoyed before that, because I was in a gap year. Uh, summer, I started continuous every day. I used to study, go through the papers of Interhex, and that's how I cleared the entrance exam. So it was calm. I started preparing two weeks before for the exam, but then I was preparing day, like day and night. I would sleep at midnight and wake up in the morning to just to repeat them, everything. Um, and that really helped, because before then I was procrastinating a lot to do the exam. I started studying for the entrance exam about <laughs> two weeks before the exam actually, but definitely would not recommend that. Um, I believe, you know, following the guidelines and, and you know, the instructions Interhex provides of studying at least like a month or two beforehand and constantly re revising will definitely better your chance of getting into the university. So the entrance exam, not going to lie, I was very stressed before the entrance exam and I was studying pretty hard, but after speaking with some upper year students and my personal agent, I realized that I could take a step back and you know, study the given material from Interhex and it'll be just fine. To be honest, I find it quite hard when I looked at it at the start. So obviously I applied one or two months before the entrance exam. However, when I applied with Interhex, to be honest, I was actually really happy because they had the questions on an online platform and you can practice questions specific to the content which is on the exam. And it actually does help you prepare very, very well. I feel like that was my only tool when I came to studying and I feel like even the explanations on the online platform helped me understand a lot of the content before coming into uni. So when I used that explanation, I feel like when I came into my chemistry, my biology lessons, I feel like I genuinely understood a lot. Like I genuinely felt like at the start I was clueless after using the online platform explanations and also information that was out there, I felt like, you know, it became way easier for me and I became more comfortable with answering questions that were very hard to be at the start. I divided my time into certain hours. You can't really focus for a whole four or five hours or you really will burn yourself out. However, I split my, my timetable for the exam for about one to two hours in the morning and two to three hours in the evening or just you know, equal times in the morning and evening where I feel like I can chill throughout the day and take my time. But when I come back to that studying, I really just focus, put my head down, get everything done, and after that I feel comfortable. Obviously, how much you study depends on how, how early or late you've applied. The more time you have, the, the more time you have, the less intense it would be. However, the less time you have, the more intense it would be, but I wouldn't say it's not doable. I, w I would say it's very easy, like the online platform, like I said, that I used, made me understand everything in a matter of about two weeks, and I didn't really study that intensely. I felt like everything was so simplified and condensed, I feel like I could get my way around of it, when I found it very hard in, in the start. I wouldn't say stress about it or anything, I genuinely would say it's a normal exam, the online platform will help you a lot, it is not hard, it is not something like you would look at and think, wow, I need to study all-nighters, have caffeine all night and study for that. It's not that type of level, it's, it's something really easy and if you just organise your time, one to two hours, morning and evening, you'll get around it using the on online platform and the explanations. Like I said, it's very easy to get around.
I mean, I woke up, it was like 6 a.m. <laughs> I was like, oh, exam day. Here we go again, just another, another normal exam day. I felt a bit stressed at the start, but I look back at all the work that I did on the online platform and revision that I did outside of my time, and I just felt really comfortable. I didn't feel any sort of pressure going into it. You know, there's a stress of thinking about it and everything. However, when I really looked at it and sat back and had a wider view of what I've done and the work that I've put in, I felt like, no, it's okay. It will go very easy, smoothly. And just like it did, it went very easily and very smoothly. I was stressing about <laughs> the exam results, obviously. I was just waiting for them to come back, to be honest. I, just, I remember just sitting there refreshing my page again and again on my iPhone. However, you know, at the end it was all okay. I would say that the exam gave me a big relief after I was done. I felt confident in my work, I felt confident in my knowledge due to what I've learned. And, you know, I felt like everything ran very smoothly. On that exam day, I woke up early and I was nervous, I was praying, I was, um, my mom was like, let's be assured it'll go well. I was nervous because if any technical problem occurs with the laptop or the internet and I get out of the exam, I was just nervous for that. Uh, then rest, I, when I sat for the exam, everything went well. There were nerves because you are nervous as well as you're giving the exam. So I would say just don't be nervous because if you're nervous, you will forget the things you've learned. So just be calm, know that you know everything and you will do the exam well. And after the exam I was quite relaxed. It was like a mountain was lifted up. <laughs> so the pressure was eased and then after two days we got our results and it was a happy day. After the exam was completed, uh, there was that little time period uh, where I had to wait for the results. But after I got the results, all that stress just flew away. So the format of the exam was all multiple choice questions. There was, I want to say like 15, 20 questions for each topic uh, that they gave you, but um, it was all multiple choice and easy, easy to accomplish with the given materials that Interhex provided. Format of the exam, it was the MCQs, English, Biology and Chemistry. So we had MCQs and everything. English would be a passage, you need to just read the passage and answer the questions. I would say it's uh, everything which you learn in uh, your high school. So if you're good with your high school studies of biology and chemistry, and English is quite simple, very simple to answer. I would say if you just go through the materials which Interex gives you, it's more than enough to clear the exam, more than enough. How I got my results was through the internet. They sent a link, so you just press on the link and then it comes out. Yeah, and you needed they 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 gave they give you an email the university gives you an email you log into that email so before the exam you have you already have that email so they'll send you the link to that email yeah and then you get your results for people doing the exam next year i would definitely advise them to start studying a month before because I started studying two weeks before and that took so much of my time and strength and mental health. I didn't have time to rest in those two weeks because I, I had to keep, keep repeating it. And yeah, so just study way earlier. I would say don't cram up things for the last minute. Just start studying a month before. It's more than enough, month or two. Plan up your things. If you're having a school exam, just plan up a month or two. So when you start studying, just give enough time. For example, when you sit to study, just sit down to study for at least two hours. So you're not having any kind of distractions. That way you will focus on the topic well, very well and complete it that same time and have more revisions. The more you revise, the better you remember. And that's how your nervousness comes down. So I would, personally, I think you're nervous because, lack of, because of lack of revision. You don't know the stuff enough. You know the things, but you don't remember it enough. So if you remember it enough, you won't be nervous. So I would say just revise more and automatically your nervousness will come down. My tips would be for, uh, for everyone to just study hard, uh, keep reviewing the materials Interhex provided and um, just not to stress too, too much because stress can definitely sway how you do on the exam. But, you know, revise uh, as Interhex tells you to, study hard and the materials Interhex provides will be just sufficient.
I feel like my personal assistant really helped me out. Like, she just, Emilia, shout out to Emilia. Um, she really helped me run everything smoothly in my, uh, in my visa, my residence. She really helped me at the start also with the entrance exam. She told me where the resources are. She guided me, she helped me a lot. However, overall with the whole team, in orientation week, I met some people from Interhex, some of the workers in the, in the department, and they were very kind, they were very helpful, they were very bright. I just felt like I had a very good time with them outside, and they took us around the city, and they were just very, very helpful. Showed us things that, you know, little special features of the city, little places where students usually go. I felt like the team just really helped me fit in here, and you know, it was a big support. I actually loved the experience, especially with my personal assistant. I love her. So if she's watching this video, <laughs> yeah, I just, because um, I don't know about how other applications went, but mine was really complicated. I actually did not expect it to go to the end because there was like, there were lots of things to do. There were lots of hiccups in the middle and I thought we we're not going to do it in the end, but that, I'm actually proud that we did it in the end. And I'm proud of my personal assistant for encouraging me not to stop because I was actually going to stop the, the application and look into somewhere else. But then I kept going until the end and thankfully I'm here. Interhex was an amazing, amazing company and each member made everything extremely easy, you know. Very stress-free and easy to talk to, easy to communicate with Interhex and, you know, just the whole, the whole admission process went smoothly. I started my application in, uh, I think, early June or late, uh, late May, but uh, around June and, um, you know, I had a, a great personal assistant, Haristo, and uh, he helped me, you know, 100% throughout the way and very supportive and, you know, it couldn't have gone easier. It was just such an easy uh, pathway that he provided, so I followed and I'm here. In the admission process, there were some webinars what I definitely appreciated and thought was very useful was the webinar that kind of got students prepared for the entrance exam. Those definitely took some stress off the preparation process and kind of helped students. The webinars in the beginning, so because you don't know where you're going, how it is, how's the living expense, how's the university, how is, how are the people, do they, because one thing, when, what I was thinking when I was coming here, it's a different language. So I was thinking, will the people speak English? Because in the beginning, I don't know the language, so I would be speaking in English. I was thinking of that. But yes, the, the, the webinars helped a lot. They give you an idea of where you're going and what you're applying for and how you should prepare for the exams. Because without those webinars, you don't know where you're... For example, if it was not for Interhex and I was applying as an individual to the university, I didn't know how to study for the entrance. Probably I wouldn't even have the syllabus and the material, proper material to study. But because I went through Interhex and through an agency, educational agency Interhex, it was all good. You know what you're doing. You're assured, okay, this is the right thing I'm doing. This is the right step. I'm good, getting a step closer to applying to the university. A very nice, outstanding experience. Uh, so in the Middle East, I think I was the first one from my place to go to the Europe. So my friends didn't have an idea of how you would you would apply here, how would you go about, because they went to different places. So through Interhex, it's like you know someone here locally. They help you through everything, even when it comes to making uh, legalization and paperwork and everything. They sent you the details of your home country, like go to this place in your home country, this is the address, do this work there, and it works out perfectly fine. And the service is always on time. And uh, my personal assistant, Risto, Dimitar and Stefani, always replying to the messages even at night when we like message them like hello this is this what can you do and instant replies not just that you have to wait for a day or two instant replies instant callbacks to your calls so very good service and when you come here also they help you get settled down so don't worry for that <laughs>